is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode two of Delicious Party Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. All right, let's see what Miss Yu Yui, 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 Yui does today. <laughs> Good thing I ate before I watched this. <laughs> I, I literally cannot imagine if I had watched this and ate. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say about the king, but okay. <laughs> Should we talk about that? Hmm. You know what? No. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're not going to talk about that. It's a little obvious about what I'm talking about or hinting to, quote unquote. But um, I think I'm going to be, I'm going to be nice and I'm not going to say anything about what the fuck I'm talking about. If you've seen the news on this show and stuff like from a couple of days ago so specifically last thursday or friday then you know what i'm talking about um if you haven't like i said we ain't gonna talk about it until we officially get to that situation Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take my freaking hair. Just go in the back. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, but then all the food is gonna be so nasty. <laughs> mm-hmm. the catchphrases. Okay, so can we just say the king is fucking adorable? He kind of reminds me of the principal from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Bracelet can do anything.
God, I can't imagine if there's like a cheeseburger or like, you know, like really good spaghetti. It's, I shouldn't be hungry. Yeah. Okay. Of course. All right, can we talk about this person's voice? So it'll be fine. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Money? What's wrong? Okay, let me say this. Is it me or does Mary kind of give me hella vibes to freaking, um, to Victor from Yuri on Ice? Oh. Ah, because especially, uh, he doesn't voice Mary in this, but like, oh, just, ah, I can't. The, the man who plays Victor. And you're on your eyes. I want to marry that man. <laughs> it's a fox. Poor baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
This is going to be like healing good pretty here where you know, hey, we make connections with animals and then we get to the end of the series and then it's time for them to go and I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to cry over animals again. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, no other person really can know about what you are. No, it's okay. I mean, you're just being honest. Oh. If we don't have one episode where Mary doesn't go on a date with somebody, we're suing, okay? We are suing. Like, literally. I, I remember when freaking, um... Hagato came out and what's his face was in it and, and like you know their situation and stuff and we technically kind of saw them go on a date but yes we need that let Mary you know go on a nice date with a guy please oh, baby how does no one else see her though And now the chicken gonna taste bad. Be like, did you cook this chicken a little, you know? Mm? See, that just reminds me, because, like, I had chicken earlier today. Oh, um, it was so good. But it was technically when dixie chicken, but Publix chicken. So good. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I I'm probably making you hungry. Go get something to eat, please. <laughs> so now what? That's so cute. <laughs> you really think you can do this by yourself, though? Be like, sir, don't you know who she is? You know, she is a Simfo Gear user. She is also Alice Synthesis 30. She could beat the. She is darkness. She could beat your behind. I mean, he could try that, but you know. And there's the pretty holic.
god, it's just once again, this only episode two and it's so fucking pretty, but I'm ready to see the rest of the girls. Like, I really love this transformation. I mean, seriously, Toei was like, yeah, you know, we're gonna take everything that everybody loves about transformations, and for this, we're just gonna mwah, put our <laughs> put our signature in it all up in there, get a little more glitter and everything else. Like, ah, uh, it's just so gorgeous. I mean, she tried, though. Oh. Mm-mm. Hey, it's only the second episode. I mean, she's not going to be the greatest, but it's going to take time. Mary... Yeah, but she's got this. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be fair. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like Yui and Nozomine would be like this because they like to eat so freaking much. <laughs> Okay, but how though? Come on, fried chicken. <laughs> See, I feel like what she's probably going to do, you know, remember how like in Go Princess Pretty Care with Locke and the, the relationship of Locke and um, Flora? It seems like we're probably going to get that. Uh, don't 
Of course, they're selling that, and of course, it's not actual glass. It's pl- plastic. <laughs> Come on, come on. It's a secret. Yeah, like a little Tamadachi. Honestly, that was cute. It kind of gives you feels towards... Oh, 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 puppy. Puppy! 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 Okay, let me stop. Alright, as I was saying, the relationship in this episode between Yui and Mary honestly instantly reminds you, especially when it is like, it's traditional really in a magical girl anime, that first quote unquote fight between the two and such. This is something else that I didn't get to say last week um, because this was in my head and I completely forgot about it after I watched the episode. All right. This situation also with Mary, and when he summons um, the Delicious Field, I get hella vibes to Lolly Rock. If any of you have seen Lolly Rock or any other type of magical girl anime cartoon, whatever, where they have to like go into a certain area just to fight, so good. Um, I do also love the fact that Mary is going to be more of a, the, his guardian role is more of still becoming a, gar- a, a, a guardian, but also fighting. Because, I mean, he already gives me feels to Harry and such, especially because, you know, we all know, me, yes me, when Hagato came out, I had the biggest crush on Harry me and Hamane, we was going back and forth with Harry every single freaking week. Um, and such. But it feels like he's, Mary is going to get more of a big role. That what I really kind of wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah. So she's not coming until episode four. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with one more week as Yui. Um, but it's kind of like the role that I was expecting um, Harry to get is what Mary currently get, is getting now. In a way, basically, Harry walked so Mary could run. Are really any of the boys in the Pretty Cure series that are like the quote-unquote guardians, they've all walked to see Mary run. Mary is now one of those types of characters where you get to see him fight and he gets to have a moment. Maybe it's not as big as the cares and such, but he still gets a moment just as much as any of the other guys have gone. Because I do like the fact, especially as someone who just recently rewatched um Yes, pretty here five and such and seeing, you know, having a guy be a damsel in distress and stuff. Hello, Sailor Moon, also you. <laughs> um it's interesting. It's very, very interesting to see that and seeing the dynamic of how 
um, a girl or even a woman herself can save the guy and stuff. Because, you know, typical, it's always the other way around. You know, the girl becomes the damsel in stress and the guy has to save her, yada, 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 this is it, and whatever. But, yes, I really personally enjoyed this episode. I liked the dynamic of them once again. I'm ready to see how, like, week three is going to go with these two. I do really enjoy the fact that we have gotten three episodes, technically by next week, when the episode three does come out, Three episodes with Yui just kind of really by herself. I cannot remember the last time that we got that. I want to say um, it was the first couple of episodes of Go Princess before Cure Mermaid came in and how Flora was trying to like see the ins and outs of becoming a pretty cure. That's the same thing kind of with Blossom before um, Cure Marion came in for Heart Catch. And then I felt like there's one other, but I literally cannot think about it right now. But I do like the fact that we do get to see Yui initially, you know, see the ins and outs of it. Because not every cure when they first start out is the perfect thing. And I do like the fact that the dynamic where Mary is like, I want you to stop. I don't want you to get hurt and, you know, be blamed because of me and this is that and the third and me being upset that you're hurt and I can't do anything for you. But because Yui is like, you know such a happy-go-fun person and adorable as fuck, she's like, because I love food so much, I want to see people smile. That, you know, seeing someone eat and being happy about that makes her happy. And so when people are not sad, are sad she's going to be sad. And she's going to do everything in her power to make that person happy again. Very similar to Ichika um, with her thing. But, yes, like I said, I, I'm hoping, yeah, number one, like I said, we do get an episode where Mia goes on a date, please. You know, it is 2022. Toei Animation. And, you know, we need to see more, you know, <clears throat> versions of a love on anime. Because, you know, in a minute, I'm about to watch, you know, some yaoi and such. But, yes, like, we need to see that. I'm ready to see another appearance of Cure Spicy until she officially, you know, comes in and such. So, yes, I literally cannot wait till next week. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode two of Delicious Party Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday, Sunday, or maybe even Monday, depending on, you know, what it is. But really, probably Saturday, Sunday for episode three. Bye guys!